Hello and welcome to my rolling project pan challenge. So this is a rolling 12 project pan, so it means I'm focusing on 12 items at a time and then when I use something up, I'm rolling in something new. So this has got like a collection of like mostly makeup but then also some skincare. Um, so let's just get straight in. I am so excited. This is my first actual update. I have done an introductory video if you want to check out my motivations for doing this challenge and sort of like where I started from. But this is really exciting. I have hit pan. I have never hit pan on a product before. So not only is it my first time hitting pan in this challenge, it's just the first time hitting pan. So I'm sure if you've experienced that, you know how exciting it can be, especially when you are doing a challenge like this. Um, and there's been some really awesome progress as well. So I'm gonna share with you the makeup stuff first and then we'll look at kind of some other items and some empties I have, etc., etc. So first item I have is the mascara. So once again, can't really see the progress on this because obviously it's in a tube and I don't really know what's going on. Um, so I used it about 15 times. Like since doing this project, I actually have been using up makeup or using makeup a lot more than I usually would. So I think I did wear it around 15 times. Um, so that's really awesome because usually I don't wear it so much, at least between, between 10 and 15 times because Often, yeah, I maybe wear makeup like twice a week, but I definitely have been pushing myself more and trying some other sort of styles of makeup since starting this challenge. But I did feel like I made some good progress on this. And for next month, I think I'm gonna make the goal to try and use it another 10 times throughout the month. So that is my first item. The next thing I have is my lipstick. So this one I also used quite a bit. Um, I probably maybe even more than 15 times, so don't know if you can maybe see, I will, yeah, it probably makes more sense for me to like take a picture and show it to you there, but you can see I have gone down from that line. There is a bit of progress. I will draw in my next line um, on how much I used it. And I don't know if I should make a like goal count, but maybe I will. I m might say that I want to try and use this at least 15 times next month. So I might write that down because otherwise I'm going to forget. So like 10 times for the mascara and then um, lipstick we're going to do 15 times as my like usage goal. Um, but you can see that there is some progress being made here which is nice and exciting. So that is the first two makeup items. The next thing I have is, what is it, my highlighter. Now this this is where I hit my first pan ever and I am so, so excited. So as you can see, there is a pretty nice little pan showing in there. Um, obviously I'm gonna like keep working at it and make it bigger and expand it, but that was very, very exciting. Like when I like hit it, I was like, oh, I did it, I did the thing. So that was really exciting. Um, yeah, and I use this quite a bit as obviously just a highlighter, but I was also using it as like a base on some of my shadows or using it as like an inner corner highlight and things like that. So that was really good and I'm so so happy. Look at it. It's like a beautiful little reflective pan. So exciting. Um, so that was the highlighter and the thing that brought me some of the most joy this month. But there's still more to come. Don't you worry. Another thing I have is the concealer. I think I used this maybe probably less than 10 times. I definitely didn't use it as much as the other items. I have my line drawn here. I'm kind of waiting for it to settle before I can see how much I've actually used, but I think I'm gonna have to do a usage count on this. I mean, I thought about it in my introduction, I didn't really set specific goals, but I am gonna start doing goals now because it's kind of hard to see the progress. So I'm gonna say for the concealer to do 10 times as well. Um, so for someone who doesn't really wear makeup very often, that is like, that is a good goal. <laughs> um, and that's for like, you know, a month's time or a month's, I, month span of time yeah that makes sense the next thing is my eyeshadow palette the front has like fallen off but this is the Fenty palette and I hit pan on the eyeshadow that I was planning to which is the little orange one there I don't know if you can kind of see it there's like a tiny little pinhole pan if I like hold it in the right light oh there you go you can see it now um so that was really exciting this has been the color that I've used the most it's like my most like go-to color that I usually start I'm wearing it today um I also like made some bit more of dents on like this color here and this one here but I also hit another pan, which I kind of wasn't expecting. It was like a surprise pan. I was just sort of like working away um, on my, on 
my eyeshadows and I kind of used it like yesterday and then this first tiny little pan came up so that's really awesome it's the first time I've hit pan in eyeshadow before it's like oh this was my first pan ever and then then quickly like within like a week I hit another two pans on my eyeshadow products so that was also really exciting and like super motivating this is why I'm really enjoying doing this challenge so we've got two pans in here I just want to keep expanding that pan and working on this palette some more. Um, yeah, it's been really fun. I'm really enjoying it. I don't know if like my goal will be to like use these products up completely, but I do want to expand the pan a little bit more and then maybe I'm going to focus my attention on, yeah, these ones here. I mean, my attention is kind of just in general on this palette and especially on this top row because that seems to be where I use the most. But even this month, I also got into like some of the darker colors and I did create a darker look and that was good. That kind of pushed me to experiment and play a bit more than usual. So that was my makeup things. Um, and now we're going into a bit more of the skincare. So I'm gonna show you first the products that I've used up and then the things that I've rolled in in replace of them. So the first thing actually I have here is this sulfur mask. So I've been using this, I used it like maybe four times and I got it from this line down to this one. So that is some good progress, but I obviously need to keep working on that. So that's the only skincare product that I didn't actually fin finish up. Um, and then on to the other one. So the first I have is this toner, um, which I did really enjoy this toner besides the fact that it smells a bit weird. I felt like it was a good toner. I enjoyed using it. Now, I originally put the line here. I didn't realize that this is one of those like compression pump ones. So it actually like moves up as you use the product. So it'd be hard. I don't really know how much I use, but it was like a good amount. Like this is the main toner I used throughout the whole month. And then there was another one that I ended up swapping in after I finished that one up. So that was my first one that I actually finished. I also ended up making good progress and obviously finishing this face oil. Um, as you can see, it was kind of not very much left anyway. And that was sort of a big part of me starting this challenge is I kind of wanted to give myself sort of quick things to hit like empty on and so I could get the ball rolling and like continue the motivation. So this was one of them and that one I finished, um, finished the toner. I also used this serum. Um, it was like a sample. It was full when I started and I was able to empty it and get every last little bit out. I did really enjoy this serum. However, it's quite expensive so I probably won't be purchasing it. Um, and then the other skincare product I used was this, which was the face moisturizer so I can I didn't take a picture of it but I can try and um uh like grab a still maybe from my introduction footage because I don't really remember how much was in here but it was like more than half I think that was in here and then that one is now finished as well so that was really exciting I got like quite a few empties there's five empties in total and the last one is this perfume I don't know if you can see that little black mark so that's kind of where I started the challenge um, and then I used it up and then I did roll in another perfume afterwards. So those are all the things I finished up. That was the five items. So now I'm going to share with you what I replaced those items with. Yes, that makes sense. So first is the perfume. I have this perfume. It's like Willow. It's called Willow. It's by Skylar, Skylar Perfumes. Um, and I started it up here and then throughout the month. I don't know if you can see the next line down here, which is the progress I made so far. So that one is doing good. I really enjoyed that perfume. I also really loved using this perfume. It was really nice. And I really loved the moisturizer. Um, didn't really care for this like emerald oil thing. It wasn't like that interesting to me, but um, I did really, really love this moisturizer, which is good because I have another tub of it that I'll be using. So that is the Sorry, that's the empty perfume, but this is the new one that I did end up rolling in and I've been really enjoying using that. The next thing was this, which is some rose hip oil. This is to replace the other little bottle of oil that I used up. Now I started here. Um, I've made a little bit of progress, but not enough that's like worth me drawing a line. I mean, I use it every day, but I use like three drops each time I use it. So obviously it's gonna take a little while to get through it. And this bottle I'd already been in use. So we're at this part for the starting point. Um, and then for the replacement toner, I have this one, which is Dr. Brunette. Brunette, I don't know how to say that. Um, so that one was also, 
I started here, we've moved down to here. This will probably be out in the next week and then I will be rolling in another toner that I have. But yeah, I just wanna finish this and get it out of my collection. And also it's like a good one to like use, get that snowball rolling, keep me working on it. And I think the toner that I will be rolling in when I finish this one will be this one that I have here that's been partly used as well. So these are so many of the hand-me-down products that I was given by my friend. Um, Tallulah Probiotic Skin Care. So yeah, I'm excited. And I think this was another one of those push pumpy things. And I've learned from this time like how to actually, I need to track it the other way around when it comes to a push pump. So I'll be starting here and then be using that up, but I'll draw a line in and you'll see the progress um, with that in the next update. So shed those things, shed the oil. So in terms of the serum replacement, I then got this little sample eye cream. I have been using it, there is some progress, it's a little bit hard to see, um, but it was full when I started. I'm not really gonna draw a line because it's such a tiny, um, tiny tube and it's, yeah, I, I can't 100% tell where I'm at yet so far, but I'm not like making, I'm not moving through it like within a couple of, you know, I've maybe been using this for a week and because it's eye cream, I only use a little bit at a time. So I'll probably be able to finish that up during the month and this was four replacements. Now I have, instead of replacing my serum, no, instead of replacing the moisturizer, so I have this moisturizer, I did use it up, now I'm just using one moisturizer at a time and I don't really think there's much value in me just like panning something I'm using all the time anyway and now I only have one. So instead of adding in another skincare product, I thought I'd expand the makeup products and add in this which is an eyebrow pencil. So there isn't much left in it, which is why I kind of wanted to like use it and just get it out of the collection. So we have like this tiny, tiny little tip. Let's see if you can see what's going on. So it's like started down here. I've maybe used it like twice since I rolled it in. Um, but yeah, I want to just like keep working through this one. And I'm probably going to say like 10 as my usage goal on this as well. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to make some good progress on that. Um, and it's really, yeah, I've really been enjoying using makeup, which is fun. So that is all of the products I used up, then all of the replacements I did. And then the one last product I have is this hand cream. So we started with it pretty much full and also this section here was a lot fatter and I've used it over the last month probably I would say daily even because it is just like hair moisturizer and sometimes I'd use it multiple times a day. So I haven't put in my next line, I'm guessing I'll put it here, but it is hard to say because this packaging was a lot fatter when I started and now it's skinnier. So yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll try and figure out a way to like make progress on this, but I guess it makes sense to put like another line down here. So there has been pretty like good progress on the hand cream. Um, just gonna keep using it as I go, especially because like I think this was like probably the only product I actually started with that was like completely full and I barely hadn't used. And then you know my like eyeshadows and powder products have been used a little bit, but not very much. So it's very exciting. I can't believe I hit pan. I hit like I hit three pans when I did my introductory video with this one specifically. I was like, hmm, I think it might take me like six months to a year because I really don't use makeup that much. However, this challenge is like just encouraged me to do it and to also just not feel like embarrassed to wear makeup. I feel like because of the place where I'm living, it's sort of a small campus and people don't really wear makeup at all. So I always kind of feel like a bit weird when I'm wearing it um, and that I'm kind of like sort of being a bit like overly dressed up for the situation. So anyway, it doesn't matter though. I'm really enjoying it. And this has really like sparked a love for makeup that I just didn't really have before in the same way. I mean, it's also been thanks to my good friend Zila who gives me like so many of the lovely products that she's not using. Cause I don't think I would be as into makeup like if I'd gone and purchased it myself because I have been doing like no buys, low buys and I'm quite conscious of not buying stuff that I know that I won't really use but because she's offered some of these things to me for free, I've just started using them and then realized that I really like them. So that's been an awesome bonus and I've really been enjoying it. So anyway, that is my update. I am loving this challenge. I think it's an excellent pair with a no buy or low buy to consciously make an effort to use up what you already have, whether it's makeup, toiletries, cosmetics, you could even do it with food, like whatever it is, 
that you already have, using what you have first before replenishing it, one, teaches you how long it takes to actually use something up, and two, saves you like wasting money as well as wasting products, and I just think it's a good time. And it's also fun, like it, it challenges you to be a bit more creative, I feel. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!